Hello, my name is Daewon Kim, a professor of Korea Maritime and Ocean University. First of all, it is great honor to have a presentation for you to set a course your maritime policies. The item I introduce to you is Maritime Autonomous Surface Ships, or MAS for short, which is one of the hottest items in the world shipping and shipbuilding sector. Today's presentation will not go deep into the economic and technical aspects of MAS. Instead, I would like to look at the current technological status around the world and talk about what direction Georgia should take in relation to mass in the future. The presentation is as follows. First, a basic introduction to mass will discuss a guide to the background of appearance, basic concept, and strengths and weakness. Next, I would like to introduce the technology development status of autonomous ships around the world. In particular, I will introduce the countries in Europe and the Far East where the most active research is underway. In the final chapter, with the technology development, I will briefly talk about the direction of Georgia's maritime technology policy. The first is the background to the appearance of autonomous ships. As many of you are probably aware of, the volume of trade using ships has increased along with the economic and technological development around the world. This was linked to an increase in the amount of vessel traffic within the limited sea space, as well as an increase in the size and speed of the vessel. The figure on the left is statistical data related to ship accident in 2020 provided by an insurance company. As you can see, the total number of accidents is continuously increasing, and among them, it can be seen that the accidents near Europe and Asia are being highlighted. This increase in ship traffic, size, and speed of ships has led to more accidents than in the past, and various research research show that most of these accidents are caused by human error. Human factors can include human negligence, lack of skills, fatigue, and so on. As we saw earlier, the fact that the human factor has a significant influence on the safe operation of a ship was the reason why these masks were able to emerge. The concept of mass applying advanced digital and artificial intelligence, or AI, at sea, such as self-driving cars on land and unmanned aircraft in the air, has emerged in shipbuilding, offshore, and shipping. In anticipation of the emergence of autonomous ships sailing in the ocean, the IMO named the Autonomously Operated Ship Mass, or Maritime Autonomous Surface Ship and began discussing legal regulations for its safety in 2018. In IMO, mass is defined as a vessel operating on the surface with minimal or no human intervention. In other words, autonomous ships include both partially and fully autonomous ships. Currently, Various terms such as smart ship, autonomous ship, and unmanned ships are mixed and used in the shipbuilding industry. As can be seen from this figure, the overall development purpose is the same. However, the final concept or name will change depending on which the level is to be reached. The ship on the left is a smart ship which refers to a technology that can prevent or reduce human errors with the help of advanced shipbuilding, information, and communication technologies in a situation where an existing person is on board. The middle is a partially automated vessel, still with people on board. However, the safety of the ship can be promoted by reducing the scope 
for human intervention. Finally, on the right side is a fully automated ship, which can be seen as the final version of a mass in which no one is present on the vessel. The previous slides can be rearranged as follows. Autonomous ships need to be classified according to their degree of autonomy, and the IMO collects and discusses opinions on the autonomous classes submitted by each member country. And the class of autonomous ship is classified as this figure. It was tentatively divided into four stages, but additional reviews are underway. Based on the convergence of fourth industrial revolution, autonomous ships have emerged in the maritime industry for safety and logistics efficiency. By replacing it with the system, human error can be reduced to prevent accident and operate efficiently. However, it is impossible in the near future to replace both general and emergency situation of the crew with AI at the current level. And most of the research is focused on the systemizing the general situation. In other words, for the time being, it is expected that R&D will proceed in the direction that the system replaces most general situations and the crew plays the role only in the emergency situations. Partial automation of ship equipment has been well underway long before the picture shown here. What is shown in this slide shows major studies on these autonomous ships or mass. The first research on autonomous ship described above is the 7.5 billion euro Munin project conducted by the European Union. Here, Munin is an abbreviation for maritime unmanned navigation through intelligence in networks. Although this study did not create a prototype, it did a study on the prevention of collision between virtual ships based on a network and mentioned the importance of onshore control for these ships. With this Munin project as a starting point, all over the world began to engage in R&D with each other. Among them, research on autonomous ships has been mostly conducted in the Nordic countries, which will be explained from the next slide. Following this, several European countries that participated in Munin and three countries in Far East, Korea, Japan, and China, are conducting research. As mentioned earlier, research related to autonomous ship is being conducted around the world. Some of them focus on basic concept or basic technologies, while Others are in the stage of building ships. In this presentation, we'd like to introduce some of research in which actual ships are built or existing ships are remodeled. First, I would like to introduce the Aegis project currently in progress in the European Union. The main objective of Aegis is to develop a new waterborne transport system for Europe that makes the benefits of ships and barges while overcoming the conventional problems like dependence on terminals, high transshipment cost, low speed and frequency, and low automation in information processing. This project is a study on the overall automation, not only autonomous ships, but also logistics systems. Among them, Section A intends to experiment with transport between ports in Norway and the Netherlands through autonomous vessels. Yara Bertrand is an autonomous zero emission container vessel being jointly developed by Kongsberg and Yara. Yara and Kongsberg initially entered a partnership to construct the autonomous container feeder ship 
in May 2017. Kongsberg is responsible for the development, supply, and integration of sensor, electric drive, battery, and propulsion control system under the agreement. Due to COVID-19 and other circumstances, it is expected that it will be put into actual transportation at the end of this year, which is delayed from the target time. It will operate on a sea route between ports in Norway. The ship will be monitored and controlled from three operation and control centers, which will handle emergency exception handling, observation of conditions, operational monitoring and decision support. The autonomous container ship will demonstrate innovative maritime technologies to enable green shipping operations. The ship's navigation and operations will be supported by a number of sensors, including a radar, LiDAR, and an AIS and IR cameras. Rolls-Royce and Finn Ferries have successfully demonstrated the world's first fully autonomous ferry in Finland. The car ferry Falco used a combination of Rolls-Royce ship intelligence technologies to successfully navigate autonomously during its one-way voyage. The return trip was conducted under remote control. Following the first project, AAWA, a new project called SVAN is underway using this vessel. The Falco is a 53.8 meters double-ended car ferry, which enters service with Finn ferries in 1993. It is equipped with twin azimuth thrusters from Rolls-Royce. The Falco is equipped with advanced sensors, which allows it to build a detailed picture of its surroundings in real time with a level of accuracy beyond that of the human eye. The situational awareness picture is created by sensor fusion and it is relayed to Finn Ferry's remote operating center on shore. Here, a captain on shore monitors the autonomous operations and can take control of the vessel if necessary. This one is a project which I had participated for two years. The Galileo Nautic Maritime Project aims to develop autonomous navigation and cooperative maneuvering of ships in ports and port areas. The project focuses on the development of reliable and precise satellite receivers such as GPS and Galileo systems. With the help of modern navigation and communication technologies, new implementation scenarios with a focus on automated maritime applications are designed. This makes existing port processes more efficient. This project do not build a new autonomous vessel but modified an existing main vessel such as Finland Falco to make it possible to operate autonomously. And recently in March of this year, successfully carried out offshore trial operation. A unique series of autonomous operations were held on the North Sea in 2019, about five nautical miles off the coast of Netherlands. A small offshore service boat which is called CGIP, was outfitted with collision avoidance technology and took part in several nautical scenarios to determine how the vessel would interact with seagoing traffic. The trials are part of the joint project Autonomous Shipping, a two-year project started in 2017 and focused on autonomous operations of seagoing vessels. The demonstration provides input for an autonomous shipping roadmap, which will define the lessons and the obstacles, technology, and potential, as well as the steps to be taken towards further realization. The roadmap will guide 
development of technology within the Netherlands maritime industry. This includes not only technical issues, but also those in the regulatory field and aspects such as risk management. From now on, we want to move on to Asia. In particular, we will look at the cases of Korea and Japan. In line with this global trend, the project Autonomous Ship Technology Development aims to develop a ship of IMO Level 3, which is the core technology of autonomous ship, such as navigation and engine automations and sea trial and validation. For this, Korea's overall automation ship-related tasks are divided into two groups. The first is a task for the development of ship itself, and the other one is for the part that can link automatically ships and port facilities. The autonomous ship development will be carried out for a total of five years from 2020 to 2024. And the follow-up project will be carried out from this year to 2025. Through this, it is possible to respond nationally to the fourth industrial revolution and the securing of the latest ship technology. And through this, it is expected that it will be possible to change the paradigm of the existing labor-intensive shipbuilding and shipping industry. As mentioned earlier, the ship development through research is aiming for the third level of autonomy. To this end, a specific port has been designed as a test area for autonomous ships and is preparing for sea demonstration to be carried out from 2024. The core technology of autonomous ships, which combines ICT technology with the world's best shipbuilding and shipping technology, is expected to contribute to compete with the world. It is expected to contribute to improving the reliability of domestic equipment and equipment by delivering products that have secured safety through advanced detection and performance verification of intelligence systems. A shipping company, NYK, has conducted the world's first maritime autonomous surface ships trial performed in accordance with the IMO's guidelines for mass trials. The vessel Iris Reader, a large NYK-operated car carrier, with a gross tonnage of 70,000 tons, was navigated day and night using the automated navigation systems in 2019. Crew performed typical duties during this trial, which includes Japan's coastal area, but excluding base. During this trial, the system performance in actual sea conditions was monitored as it collected information on environmental conditions around the ship from existing devices, calculated collision risk. This is the end of this presentation. With the advent of the fourth industrial revolution, new concepts of ships and navigation systems are emerging in the shipping and shipbuilding industries. With this, many countries around the world are in the process of developing technologies for mass to preoccupy new technology standards and pioneer new markets. In the case of Georgia, I would like to think about these new technologies for shipping in the Black Sea and Mediterranean Sea. Regarding mass technology, there will be four factors to consider as shown in the figure. The first is the shipping industry, the second is the shipbuilding industry, the third is the port facilities, and the last one is the seafarers. The previous three were briefly explained, and the last one, seafarers, need further thought. The purpose of the autonomous ship is to be prevent 
human error by seafarers, and the result is unmanned ships. In this process, the position of the existing seafarers will be reduced, and it seems necessary for the government to consider how to utilize this personnel. I hope that the Georgian government maritime policy can be established in a good direction through various considerations. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you.